So today I'm going to show you how to make this beaded bracelet. For that, you're going to be using wire. So you've got your 0.4 as your weaving wire and your 0.8 as your base wire. Then we've got our Ato seed beads. And for the tools, what you're going to be needing is your cutters. You're going to be needing pliers chain nose pliers or uh, flat nose pliers and then a bail making plier or perhaps um, a round nose pliers if you have all right so i'm going to begin um, i've prepared a little section to show you first uh, which is what this is going to look like so the bracelet that i have made has used five base wires okay so uh, you can make it a much larger if you want a much wider cuff bracelet you can add in more wires um, i've just used five i thought that was wide enough um, and to do this, I'm going to start by cutting off different sections. Now, the sections that I have here are quite short, but I would recommend to probably go about 15, 18 centimeters long. Um, the longer, the better. If the, the longer you can handle it, the better, because you'll need the length in the end to be able to control where we finish off uh, the bracelet. OK, so I'm going to take my weaving wire. I'm going to show you how to start the base going to cut off to 0.4 I'm going to set this aside as well and here is my wire sections now for demo purposes I'm also going to go with shorter length of base wires easier to demonstrate on so I'm going to pick up my first wire and what you need to do is take the 0.4 you don't need to leave too much of a length on the side I'm going to leave this here so you can actually refer to it when I work so I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap around my 0.4 about five times so one two three four five and on the fifth time i'm going to bring the wire up and then what's quite important here is to bring in one of our egg toes and slide it on the reason i'm doing that is because it'll help to control the gap to the next wire i'm going to slide in the next wire and i'm going to wrap it around the top so you're going to have to control the wire the gap with your hands a little bit it's going to be a tiny bit tricky at this stage so one two three four and five so that's that bring in the next bead slide it on you can then just push and that will help i was fine with my first row for some reason it tends to to thin out towards the top i tend to cinch it so i usually undo the first row um if that happens um doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things so bring in the next and then just very gently control the gap to the top and wrap one I bend out the ends like that because it helps me slide the wire in two three four and five and then bring in the next and just remember take one of your seed beads because not only will it help you to control the gap but in this instance you can also push the weaves together bring the wire down now as i said don't worry too much if the first row doesn't look as tidy um, you can always undo this one and carry on so adjust it and then just bend this one up one two three four and five like so and then press it down so obviously yeah, you could carry on as i said you can do um five wires like i did you can do it with 10 if you wanted to or 20 for you know if you want a really really wide cuff um, you're just going to have to be patient when you do that in the beginning so then once you've done that all you need to do is bring the wire 
back from the bottom okay what we're going to do is bring it down near the first bead and we're going to wrap it around very closely to the first bead so push that down just make sure that the beads stay in sequence at the top that's one two three four five pick up the next bead slide it on like so and then press actually no it's not supposed to go on the second one it's supposed to go on the first to compress and then you bring the wire up and you carry on do your five again one two three and then five like so and then again bring in the seed bead and always slide it onto the section that you have just created and then carry on so anyway you'd carry on and then you get something that looks like this so you would obviously do it as long as you need to to get a bracelet that fits around your wrist and um, you can always extend it if it's too short with a chain like I've done okay so you would have this and then when you finish with the bracelet make sure that you end up with your five wraps without the beads okay so now the next step is uh, to create the finishing so I'm going to take the bottom wire and I'm going to go around a second and I am wrapping it very gently. Try not to bend the second wire out of shape. And this is why I recommend have a little bit of a length of wire. Because that enables you to have a bit more leverage when you do this. Okay, so then you have the one at the top. So we take the second wire, wrap it round the third. Like that. And then the third around the fourth like so was once and then bring them out at the bottom you can also use your pair of pliers to push very gently you want to make sure that you don't actually bend any of the wires so you push it in and then you'd finish off with your last wire at the top like that so then you have all these wires obviously take your time make sure it's nice and neat um, and then all we're going to be doing now is come in make sure that these wire sections are placed out of the way where they can't actually snag on any clothing and we're just going to trim these off like so and then what I do also here at the back is I'm going to cut these because these are created by doing the wrapping coming down the front. I'm going to cut these off so it looks exactly like it does at the front. Just make sure you trim them so they don't snag again. I'm not taking my time here, but you would obviously at home. And then the last thing here is to obviously create um, a rosary link. So a wrap loop like this type. And the way to do this is bend the wire over 90 degrees you can also use round nose pliers for that bring the wire round flip your pliers sideways bring this at a perpendicular angle and then just simply wrap your wire around and then trim this off and then the last step is if you don't have any chains and findings to create your very own little shepherd hook style um, hook, use your round nose pliers or your bell making pliers. And what we're going to do now is grab the ending, create a tiny little loop. Your chain, your um, round nose pliers would be better for this. Come in, we had the loop ends. And wrap it round the top like so so it looks like that and then again go one size bigger 
and wrap it around the top like so and then simply come in the side where you want the kink to be bend it up and strip off the ending and that's how you create this little style hooks obviously i would recommend using a thicker gauge wire for that one mil or 1.2 mil would be much better to give it strengths um but yes this is how you create this bracelet um and as always looking forward to your creations hope you enjoyed that